So I was at the MPF and I was waiting to get a deer's update for my, my new son. I thought to myself, you know, it's 2018. Why are we still using draw paper numbers for, you know, a line for the world's greatest air force? So our very first run at attempting a problem sourcing was a competition that we ran on idea scale. And the number one idea came from Tech Sergeant Herzog. I'd been to the local DMV and noticed that they use a system uh, called Qless and basically allows you to get into a virtual line. Why don't we just use the system that the DMV uses? The Spark Cell is uh, important because it allows base level airmen to bring up their pain points and have a, a mechanism by which they can solve those pain points. We have amazing folks and so all I have to do is give them the opportunity, maybe a, a working space like we have here and just enough support um, so that they can run. Squadron Commander, he was totally on board with helping us move this forward. So we got through a Form 9 and went out and uh, sourced a solution through QLS. The price was low enough, only you know, twenty-four to thirty thousand dollars to uh, to execute using just Squadron Innovation funds. We spent a little bit of money on the initial software and the initial application of it, um, and now it's in full swing. Instead of having to wait in a long line, you sign in, uh, you get a number or a time. I can sign in on my phone using the QLS app or via text message, uh, and then I can go spend that time working in the squadron. And then all of a sudden your phone will get a text message and you can come on back when your time uh, or your number is available. The best part is this project is completely scalable to any base in the entire Air Force. Yeah, the key to an enabled spark cell is connectivity with all of the base agencies. We had multiple problems to solve, not just the problem of the queue itself, but we had to uh, you know, figure out how we can use the software, how can we connect to the software. It was important though to have kind of one key problem owner who's working directly with the champion, so in our case, our vice wing commander, Colonel Gilbert, to, to run the project all the way from problem statement through solution is out there in the field, you know, saving upwards of 130K a year. It's awesome watching our airmen work. My role has simply been to help them uh, find the avenues to plug in, uh, provide a little bit of resourcing, and then just guidance, a little bit of mentorship and leadership. The Spark idea, I think it's um, a model that only will reap benefits moving into the future. It's gonna be great for the airmen, it's gonna be great for the Air Force as far as dollar value. There is an avenue for them to get their ideas out there. The solution comes from the bottom up. That's what Spark Nellis is. All right, so you just saw this video that told you how you could get a queue management system, but we really wanna make sure it works for you. Well, now we'll summarize how you can do this for your base. Follow these steps and we'll get you there. One, find an airman that is passionate about solving problems. Two, give them the tools that they need to succeed. Three, let them run. And four, don't be afraid of failure. Reach out if you need some help. Could you just imagine if we saved $100,000 every year at every base with a technology like this?